Good morning, welcome back to another vlog here in Lanzarote. Here's Meg. Say hello, Meg. Hello. We've just been down to breakfast on day three and we're gonna go out for a little run slash cycle. Um, there's a little cycle rental shop right next to the hotel. So Meg's gonna jump on a bike and I'm in my running gear, ready to go for a yeah little explore. Yeah. We haven't really explored the local area properly, so it'll be a good <laughs> opportunity for me to get a run in and for me to have it explore. Meg to have a little bit of explore. Yeah, and then this evening we might go after dinner to the little town. Yeah, town? yeah. We'll head that direction now so we know where we are, and roughly yeah. where we're going. Um, yeah, we're gonna go for a run cycle and do a bit of exploring. <laughs> She's got her bike, my support vehicle. Hope you're ready for a 20k cycle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's got like four different modes. Turn it on. Oh, well, I don't know if I should now. Should oh, no, you shouldn't now. I don't know. If you have to be it's got turbo mode, so if you're going to need that to keep up with me, love. <laughs> GPS is ready. You ready? Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Let's go. This is so fun. Wow. It's really cool. <laughs> 23 miles an hour! <laughs> oh, can't keep up. She's got too much power. plug this is what I like to put on after every long run muscle and joint bump CBD I'm struggling with a little bit of a calf no this isn't a calf this is a shin <laughs> niggle um, I seem to get some soreness all the way along here um, sort of like shin splint you've um, always had that as well haven't you like it comes yeah, and goes it comes and goes yeah well, especially when I increase my mileage um, so I just put a bit of this on it's great anti-inflammatory it helps with some of the pain um, just like that but after every sort of long run and session um, and I sort of alternate between the muscle and joint bum and the freeze roll on, both are really effective for um, pain relief. But yeah, we're going to head down to the pool now and enjoy the sunshine. Go to the beach, eat, let's go get away. Hey, hey. I'm going to say, how do you Oh yeah, sunny D. Nothing like sunny D when you're on holiday. So we just finished up a very st strenuous day at the pool. Yes. Cool. Absolutely <laughs> yeah, knackered now. No, we did well to get out for our 20, 20 kilometre cycle slash run this morning. Yeah. Got to see plenty of the sights. And it was quite cloudy, wasn't it? It in was. In the afternoon, yeah. and then it got sunny. So it but we've got a little bit of a tan. Yeah, I've not, got a bit of a tan. Not too bad. Um, we're just heading back to the room, get changed into some, some clothes. It's what you generally do for dinner. <laughs> And then, yeah, another buffet. Hey, hey 6.30 on the dot, tonight. we'll be there. <laughs> I'm hoping the steak from the first night's back there because that was yeah, delicious. I kind of hope that too. Yeah. I fancy that. Someone's got a nice suntan on the back there. That's what they say about Lanzarote wings. Is that, <laughs> is that it? On. Yeah. I don't even have my strap up. But we put, I put loads of sun cream on your back, I so I don't know how that's happened. I don't know, strong. Strong, strong sun. We're ready for dinner. Oh yeah, outfit check. Nice little dress, red bag. I've gone for a little bit of a 
what's this called again? Cord? Cord. Cord, black tea, interest in hocker slides. These are such a good present, by the way. Meg brought these for me for a birthday present, which is, when's my birthday? Tuesday. Tuesday. So still in like three days, but I got them as a early birthday present and they have been a spawn. But they are definitely a look, especially with the old uh, Safe Sky socks, but I'm rocking it. It's kind of edgy, right? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> We just got down to dinner and nobody else is in there at the minute so we don't want to be the first ones to go in and be super keen Karens. Um, so we're going to chill here on the day beds. Um, play some Candy Crush. Play a bit of Candy Crush, <laughs> maybe a bit of cards. Yeah, we yeah. have a game. Let's do it. Let's do that. And then when it gets a little bit busier in there we'll go in yeah, and join the, the fun. <laughs> this dessert selection out gone for a bit of everything you get a, me and Meg have been getting a piece of each and then cutting it in half so we've got a nice little selection I'm most excited about this cheesecake the next day hello. hello so it is day four here on our holiday we just had a lovely breakfast you're getting sick of the all-inclusive breakfast no, yet no. no I'd rather that than make my breakfast every day exactly so. <laughs> kind of having the same thing every day, but we're yeah, just going with it. It's good. Um, today we are off to the Tagiz, um, which is the capital of Lanzarote, if that's a thing. Um, we're going to have a little look around the market, see what bits and bobs we can get, some holiday souvenirs. Yeah. Um, we just watched a bit of the London Big Half on Meg's phone, but I'm not going to be able to find out who wins until later on, so that'll be exciting. <laughs> you ready to rock? Yeah. So we just got off the bus, we made it to Tagiz. It's about 20 minute coach journey from our hotel. No, we're gonna have a look around the Tagiz market. Maybe find some lunch as well. Yeah. It's yeah. nice, it's, it's quite cool today. We're yeah. just saying it's perfect it's like, temperature. I think it's gonna get much hotter later, but like it's yeah. just a bit of a breeze. And it's quite windy in Lanzarote anyway. So yeah. it's just like probably about 25 degrees good, so it's, it's a good temperature to walk around exactly yeah and then later hopefully it'll be hot as we can sit by the pool that's the plan yeah we're here until one o'clock 1 15 our coach goes back to our hotel so really we've got missed it, really, didn't three we? hours we're in Tagiz. <laughs> yeah we were but they came found us which yeah. is good nice. here's the market up here we're gonna see what fake louis, Just loads of tourists. louis bags we can get yeah is that the aim Fake Louis, Fake Louis Vuitton. So good morning, it is the next day. Um, yesterday we just chilled at the pool um, and then after dinner I went to the treadmill in the gym. There's no air con there so it's a little bit warm. Um, and I got a really good session banked which, yeah, was good. It was sort of a 10 minutes on, 10 minutes off session. So I was doing the 10 minutes off at 3.45 pace. So a bit slower than my half marathon pace. And then I was doing 10 minutes at three minute kilometer pace, which is around my 5K pace, which is faster than my race pace in Copenhagen. But it was a really good session. Nice to get one banked. Um, if you're wondering why I'm standing here awkwardly um, with my hand behind the camera, it's because in Lanzarote, it's really windy. So I'm trying to shelter the camera a little bit um, from the wind. But yeah, it's our penultimate day on a holiday. 
it's about eight o'clock this morning. I've come out for a morning run. Check out this for the view. It's absolutely beautiful here. Um, I'm just gonna run along the coast. Oh, the sun's coming out. Um, yeah, get some morning miles in and then join Meg for breakfast. Um, I hope you're enjoying these different style videos. Um, I just wanted to document a little bit of our holiday, but also my training um, in preparation for Copenhagen half. Um, things going well, felt really, really fit yesterday. Um, probably the fittest I felt in a long time. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the next few weeks. I've got two weeks exactly. Um, well, yesterday was two weeks exactly until the big day and I'm hoping to be in, in PB shape. But yeah, I'm just gonna go for a nice morning run along the coast and then meet Megs for breakfast um, for another chill out day at the pool. So I'm about three kilometers into my run. Absolutely love training over here. The weather's so nice. The only thing I will say, if you do plan on coming to Lanzarote and you want to do some runs, the wind here is, yeah, something else. I don't know why, maybe it's just the geographical location of the island. Um, but basically one direction along the coast is a headwind the whole way. So this morning I'm going to do 6k that way turn around six kilometers back but yeah the whole sort of northerly direction along the coast is really really windy um, so it's almost like I don't know a workout you have to fight the wind on the way out and then on the way back it feels a lot easier um, but I'm actually loving it it's nice to run somewhere different run a lot of miles in my training especially the easy ones and it's Nice just to yeah, see some areas that are completely different. Beautiful. Woo. 12K banked. Nice and easy this morning. Let me have a little look on the watch. Just making sure I recover after that big session yesterday. 12 kilometers exactly at 4.57 per kilometer. 59 minutes of running. Now I'm gonna go back up to the room, grab Meg, and we're gonna head down to breakfast. Woo, I could get used to this life. Nice little buffet. I'm feeling avocado on toast this morning. The guacamole. Ooh la la, ooh la la. Guacamole. Bit of scrammy eggs. So the all important coffee review. Solid, three and a half out of 10. Not great, but it'll do. It's coffee, it's hot. Tastes pretty bitter. It's quite inconsistent, that's what I would say, from cup to cup. Um, some of them taste good, some of them bad. That's why three and a half out of 10. Definitely room for improvement. How was your breakfast today, Megs? Yum. day. Today is actually our final day on holiday and, and it's my birthday. <laughs> so, 25. Yeah, 25 years old today. I haven't got my um, glasses on, I've got contact lenses in because today we are going on a boat trip on to one of the yeah, islands island. on the north of going on a Lanzarote. Catamaran. Yeah. Um, and we've got to drive up to the top of Lanzarote and then we are Getting the boat across to the little island. Yeah, it should be really fun. Morning. <laughs> so we just got off the bus. 
about to jump on the first boat on the catamaran to go to the island of Orzolo in the north of Lanzarote. Excited? Yeah, no, this is Orzolo. We're going to La Gracia. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. I get it right. You know? Yes. <laughs> We're in Orzolo, I'm going to La Graciosa. Thank you. So we just arrived at La Graciosa, which is our first stop on our oh yeah, there's a lot of fish in there on our little boat trip today. Um, it's a beautiful little island. Apparently, it's now the eighth um, Canary Island. It used to be part of Lanzarote, but they four years ago got independence. And uh, yeah, this is the capital of La Graciosa, and there's 730 people that live here. So really small island really pretty we've got an hour now to go and explore and maybe have a drink the beach looks really nice actually we can go chill over there but yeah beautiful little place and then we're gonna have paella and uh, mojitos whoop, whoop. She said. <laughs> and a dance yeah and we're gonna go um, either snorkeling or kayaking oh yeah after lunch we're going we're gonna go to snorkeling that mountain yeah there's a mountain behind this this um, island and then we're going to go and explore there. It's beautiful here. Back on the boat. Time some food. Hola. Aperitivo primero. Thank you very much. All right. Snack for food. Gracias. Thank you. Have some paella. Beautiful. It's got chicken, prawns, mussels, a bit of everything. I've gone straight into the messy bit. It's gone friend. A few moments later. Whew. So I just did finish the day, finished my birthday with an hour on the treadmill at 18 kilometer pace. Whew. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to do an hour, but yeah, pleased with that. Um, yeah, 320 per kilometer, but a little bit slower than my half marathon pace, but it was feeling comfortable to around 45, 50 minutes. So the last 10 minutes were difficult, but yeah, another one banked on the road to Copenhagen. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this sort of travel vlog. Um, it's been a lot more casual, just filming as and when here on our holiday in Lanzarote. We go home tomorrow, um, but I hope you've enjoyed the two videos from over here. And yeah, until next time, aspire to run, run to inspire, and we'll see you again soon.